tomorrow if you wake up in the morning. No, this is not my wish, <laughs> but I want you to know of all the people who go to bed tonight, over a million people will not wake up tomorrow morning. And tomorrow, if you and me wake up tomorrow morning, is it not a fantastic thing? A million people did not wake up. You woke up. Is it not a great thing? Yes. You don't seem to think so. She has. Because the problem is just this. You are living with an idea that you are immortal. When I say you are immortal, you are not actually thinking you are immortal, but you are not conscious of your mortality. If you are not conscious of your mortality, somewhere you think you are immortal, isn't it? How many moments in a day are you conscious that you are mortal? If you were conscious, would you have time to crib? Would you have time to fight with somebody? Would you have time to do some rubbish with your life? If you knew, if you are conscious that you are mortal, you would do nothing other than what is absolutely needed for you and everybody around you. Don't think this is a negative thing, death is not a negative thing, it's the only thing which has added value to your life. If you're here forever, you would be unbearable. Yeah. Yes. If you just become conscious of this one thing, that always you're conscious that I'm mortal. You don't have to think I will die today, we don't intend, we want to live as far as possible. Just you know one day I will die. Every day, every moment if you remind yourself, this is a brief life, I'm mortal, one day I will end. Just do this for two days and see, you will become something truly fantastic within yourself, just this is all. If you can remember these two things that I'm going to talk about in this talk, then no matter what happens in your life, it won't be able to disturb you. You will then remain undisturbed and unmoved even in the midst of an extremely difficult and disturbing situation. First thing is that the world is not here to make you happy. Yes, you heard that right. The world is not here to make you happy. Yes, it's here to make you conscious. Most of us think that this world is here for your enjoyment. No, that is absolutely wrong. It's a place where we come to experience our divine infinite nature. Had there been no challenges that this world keeps throwing at us every single day, we would all be highly unconscious. We would then remain drowned in the ocean of suffering. But these challenges awaken us to our real nature. These challenges rouse us from the deep sleep of identification with body-mind complex. So this is the reason why this world exists. It exists just to awaken you to your divine infinite nature and not for your enjoyment. So remember this world is not here to make you happy. It's here to make you conscious. So now the second thing that I want you to always keep in mind is the temporary nature of this phenomenal world. Once you recognize this fact that everything that you see with your eyes is ephemeral, it's temporary, it's transient, then you become free of all attachment to this world. Once you realize this temporary nature of this world, then your mind will automatically go to that which is permanent. Yes, it will automatically crave for that permanent entity which pervades the entire creation, which exists in you 
as you. Gautam Siddharth became Buddha only when he recognized this fleeting nature of this world. He recognized that nothing in this world lasts forever and when he did so, he started looking for that which abides forever and that's when he discovered his divine infinite nature. So always remember these two things. One, this world is not here to make you happy and when you do so, you will discover the true happiness, right? And two, recognize the fleeting nature of this world because it alone will take you to that which is permanent, which is eternal and which is nothing but the real conscious infinite you.